welcome to the tip of the month. This month's tip is how you can use the birthday reminder smart part more strategically. By default, the birthday reminder smart part shows all members and regular attenders with a birthday in the current month and is limited by only displaying 100 names. The list can be edited and used more strategically. By clicking the edit icon, an additional dialog box opens that will allow you to create a more refined search result. The birthday list reminder window can display any custom search that's currently available in the Alexio database. It's important to note the list option includes any custom search, whether it's marked private or public. More information on creating custom searches that would appear in this list can be found at help.alexio.com. A custom list could be your ministry team leaders or any narrowed down group of people in your span of care. I'll select the list identified as college and see the dramatic effect it has on the birthday reminders smart part. My smart part now shows just three names. In my case, it's three people identified as college age with a birthday in the current month. Usage of the smart part may end here by simply having the reminders on the dashboard. However, you can click on any one of the reminded birthdays, which will take you into the people section of the Alexio database. Now that I'm on Zach's record, I can connect with him potentially by email or, in my example, I'll send him a text. Clicking on the icon next to the mobile phone number on the people record takes me into the communication area of the Alexio database. Here I can type my message. It is a standard SMS text. There is no fee for sending it and you're limited to 160 characters. When you're ready to send your message, you can click Review Send. The important thing to note on this screen is that it is not a requirement to send the message now. And in my example, Zach's birthday isn't actually until June 24th. So I'm going to choose to send later, adjust my date and the time so that if it turns out on the day of Zach's birthday, I'm too busy to remember to send him a message, the Alexio database has already got it scheduled. All scheduled messages can be seen by clicking on the Scheduled tab. Let's review. In our tip, we discussed using the Birthday Reminder Smart Part in a more strategic way by narrowing the list. With a narrowed list, you can then connect with the people perhaps by email, perhaps by phone, or by sending them a text message. Utilizing the communication area, you can send your message now or, in a more strategic way, schedule it for a later send date. Thanks for watching the Tip of the Month.